Hi, it's Rodney Lopez with Dancing Classrooms, and for this edition of Dancing Principles, I'm at PS 128 in Washington Heights. One of our longtime partners, Miss Rosa Argelia Arredondo, is the dancing principal for today, and I'm going to ask her why she has dancing classrooms here in her school, and what impact do we have on the social and emotional learning of her students. We're also going to be covering their culminating event today, which is being hosted by Miss Mary and Miss Diana. Enjoy. What changes do you see in your students as a result of participating in dancing classrooms? Well, they tend to be more cooperative. They work better together. Um, it's almost a, like a transformation. Like they start out like these clumsy, very immature, um, goofy when they start out the, the practices. Um, and even making like facial remarks and facial expressions like eek, whatever. And actually then they really do transform. It's really like watching like a swan. All of a sudden they're like these ladies and gentlemen. And that carries over not just into the practices and the classes, but also into the regular day, instructional day. How does dancing classrooms affect the social and emotional learning of your students? I think it helps them to, first of all, get along with everyone. Um, almost, It's almost like they don't really have to be best of friends um, to work with someone. I mean, that's the closest you can work with a person when you're dancing together. So if they can work with, it, or, and the, the beauty of it is since they rotate and they have to dance with everyone in the classroom, then it's not a thing where I don't like her, I don't like him, so I don't have to dance with him. It really does teach them social skills, that you have to be able to work with everyone. You don't have to necessarily befriend everyone, but I think to work well together. Why do you like to dance with your students? It, it is, it, first of all, it's fun. I love to dance anyway. But um, my life as a principal of New York City schools is crazy. And I know that all principals can appreciate that. It's hectic, it's crazy. I plan out my days and half the time it doesn't go the way I plan it. And sometimes in the midst of my, the stress and the responsibilities and the things that happen that are not always nice, it is, a, it is an escape, it's a getaway. I disconnect and I really forget about all the worries and the stress and I just enjoy it. And it's really nice to see the children's expressions when I'm dancing with them. At the beginning, they're all like kind of giggly and like, ooh, I'm dancing with the principal. But then like as the season continues, as the classes continues, they are just, it's, they're smiling and they even make comments like, you did that step wrong. Or, you know, you, you're such a good dancer. So it's just a getaway, it really, and it helps me connect with the students and make sure that, you know, that they see me in that light too. Is there one particular student that you've noticed that has been particularly impacted by dancing classrooms? This year in particular, uh, George comes to mind because George um, is very immature. He's, he's a fourth grader, but he sometimes, he's just very playful. He, he had like no boundaries, no, like doesn't stop. He's always goofy. He would tend to follow rather than lead. Um, and over the last few weeks with the program, he really does look like a gentleman. He's not as goofy as he was in the, even in the classroom like he's not as playful anymore and even when somebody else is doing something that is really ridiculous and the teacher would not approve of george does not participate and he's been very and it's funny because now when you want him smiling for the swing he's more serious than he's ever been the whole school year so he is really one that we've seen like oh my god this is like a new young man he really is like a young man now, not just a goofy fourth grader so what would you say to other principals who feel like there isn't enough time in the school day for a program like Dancing Classrooms? Well, I would say that they should just do it. They should just try it. I believe that, you know, if you, if you think about it, children cannot be immersed in academics alone. That is unsuccessful. Usually children need something else. And the fact that they're sidestepping for, for an hour or so during the day, and it's not every single day, to participate in the ballroom dance class is actually helping them become more focused academically. So it's really helping them, it's not taken away from it. Um, and there is a connection. They do talk about social studies. They learn about the countries where the dances come from. And um, I think that's also contributing to the curriculum. So it's not, it's not, a, it's not a def deficient or it's not a deficit to the academics. I think it's building upon it. And 
you know, at the end of the day, children that are happy and look forward to participating in events during the school day, whether it's dance or whatever it is, they're going to be more focused in the classroom anyway, and they're going to be willing to learn more. So I would just say, just do it. Just try one year and you'll never regret it. I've never heard of anyone who regrets um, having bowling dance or dancing classrooms in the school. I certainly don't. So Miss Diana, why is it important to have a dancing principal in your residency? Um, so Miss Arredondo is such a, a prominent figure in the PS 128M community. Um, so the fact that she comes and shows up to all these classes with the fourth graders shows these fourth graders that this is a very important program and it's something that they could really benefit from. So by having someone so important come into the classes, it, it really just brings up the level of of importance and you can really feel that from the from the fourth graders when she enters the room and, and dances with them. So Miss Mary, what is it like to have a school partner like PS128? PS128 is a wonderful community to partner with. First of all, we have Miss Arredondo, the principal, and she's a great leader. We have wonderful teachers that dance with us, that organize with us, and the entire community, as the teaching artists and I talk about, it takes a it takes a village, and they really do that in their shows. I never have to worry about this school. I know that all our expectations will be met, and we all love coming to this school. 